Hey folks, Mac T back and we have another oil testing series that we're going to be doing. And this time I went out and since Amazon has started selling oil, I went and had a sample sent in of the actual unused oil to see what it was like and I decided to compare it against the Mobile One High Mileage. Since I compared a Super Tech oil to a Mobile One, I decided why not compare it to another Mobile One. Since the Amazon oil is made and distributed by Warren Oil Company, which makes Super Tech. Yes, Mobile One against Super Tech, now Mobile One against Amazon, and both Amazon and Super Tech share the same distributor. So that ought to be something interesting all by itself. But starting out first we're going to go the Mobile One High Mileage. I chose that because it's down in the lower part of uh, the testing that I was doing. And this of course is the 5W20 oil that I had tested. Now that being said, the price point for this Mobile One High Mileage on Amazon is $36 for a 5 quart container or it's about $7.20 a quart and a single quart will cost you a whopping $12.70 on Amazon. So I'm not saying that Amazon's the best place to buy this stuff so you might want to shop around. Now since it is the Mobile One High Mileage we went ahead and had it all checked in comparison right so it's documented on the paperwork. The viscosity, everything from uh, Blackstone Lab says the viscosity is good, the oil's good, uh, has molly, has phosphorus, zinc, and anti-wear additives that are in it that I went over this before. So it is a serviceable oil according to uh, the Blackstone Labs that I used to test this oil. Now we're moving on to what we call the uh, Amazon Basics 5W20 Full Synthetic. Now. I went and contacted Amazon for the SDS sheet and this really comes into, a, into play here in that you can go to Mobile One and get an SDS sheet, you can go to uh, Walmart and you can get an SDS sheet from Warren Distributing Inc. Okay? And for this part here you see I have the uh, SuperTech 520 and uh, 530 SDS because they're both the same grouping of oils and they provided an SDS but Amazon was contacted and an SDS was requested. Amazon's policy is not to provide an SDS for their motor oil which is provided by Warren Distributing. Okay so they're not going to provide it. Uh, this SDS is from Walmart SuperTech uh, which does provide an SDS and Amazon does not want to provide the SDS. This refusal appears to be in direct violation of their own SDS policy for terms of sale of chemicals on Amazon. That's right, Amazon is violating their own policy. I have the SDS on it, and uh, if it stands true to nature, then we're going to say that the uh, type of oil being used is a mineral-based oil, according to the SDS for Walmart SuperTech. I doubt they've changed anything. So we're looking at Amazon and SuperTech classifying a group 2 or 3 motor oil as a synthetic, which means they're really not high on the scale, but it's also, uh, I'm going to say that the Mobile One high mileage is also a mineral oil that's highly refined, so it is loosely termed a synthetic and is not really truly a synthetic. It is petroleum oil that has been refined using different processes to quote unquote use the term synthetic. Uh, but ultimately all it is is mineral oil folks. So uh, that being said, we got this SDS sheet you can see here and uh, you know it's pretty much going to be spot on I think in comparison to the Amazon basics because I doubt Amazon went out of their way to do a group four or five uh, type of uh, synthetic oil. So we're going to leave it at either a two or a three uh, which means that uh, we got other things to worry about. But anyway, this is the virgin sample of the Amazon Basics 5W20 that I did. And its price point, I paid $19.99 uh, 
for a five quart container, which comes out to about four dollars a quart. A single quart costs you four seventeen, and I correct myself. I bought the single quart, so I paid four seventeen a quart uh, for six quarts of the uh, Amazon Basics oil that I did use. Now. As far as the Amazon Basic Synthetic Oil, uh, we have the virgin sample that was done by Blackstone and it says it checks out the viscosity as is expected. Uh, Molly B, phosphorus, zinc, anti-wear, borium, calcium, and a pinch of magnesium serve as the detergent dispersant additives. So uh, the TBN was 6.1, showing plenty of additive in use. And keep in mind, anything below a 1.0 is considered too low and unusable. So there's small, small amounts of aluminum iron we're going to see. But basically, it's a typical virgin oil, and it won't hurt anything and is a serviceable oil. Now, starting out with everything, uh, we're going to go ahead and start the testing out. And the first thing we're going to compare is the aluminum. Now, the aluminum for the high mileage is 1. The aluminum for the Amazon is 2 parts per million. The universal average is 0. And again, I've always said the aluminum is part of the processing of the oil because it runs through aluminum tubes and everything else you're going to get some aluminum. The chromium is zero for both of them and that's a universal average for the chromium. The iron was one for each and the universal average is one part per million for all of them. Copper! Copper was zero which we fully want it to be and that the universal average would also be zero for this too. Lead, we have zero lead in our oil, so that means we're right there with the universal averages for virgin samples. There is absolutely no tin in either sample, and the universal average stands up to that. Zero parts per million of tin. Molly B, this is where we get it. Molly Dendum, that's right. Um, we have in the high mileage, we have a 74 parts per million of the Molly B, and we have in the Amazon just a touch of 39 parts per million of the Molly B. Now, Molly B is important. It's one of the lucrative additives you could add to your oil to help make things slick and keep friction down. That's right. So the universal average, though, is 71. So the Amazon shows up lacking in this case. Uh, there is no nickel in either sample, and universal averages do state that zero nickel is a good point to be at. Manganese, that's right, we got zero manganese, and the universal average is generally zero manganese, so we don't have any of that to worry about. Silver, of course, is zero also for both samples, right spot on with the universal average of zero. We also have titanium, which neither one has, and the going fat is adding titanium here lately, and neither the high mileage or Amazon have chose to add any titanium, with the universal average being three parts per million. Onward to potassium, the high mileage of Mobile One has three parts per million, whereas the Amazon has a two, and the universal average being one. So both of them are high on that, I guess, but you know, one part per million higher or two, not really much of a difference. Boron, Mobile One High Mileage decided, hey, we're going to skimp on the boron, and they added a mere 100 parts per million, whereas Amazon says, hey, we're going to buck up and throw 153 parts per million into the boron category with the universal averages being 89 parts per million. Silicon, they have a lot of silicon in there. Seven parts per million in the Mobile One high mileage and three parts per million in the Amazon with the universal average being three. Now, a silicon is an anti-foaming agent, but keep in mind anything over about eight or nine parts per million is considered an abrasive. So you got to be careful of that. Sodium. Mobile One High Mileage came in at three parts per million with the Amazon at two and the universal average being 57 parts per million for sodium. So uh, definitely uh, low on that aspect. Calcium. Here we got Mobile One High Mileage coming in at 934 parts per million calcium. And then Amazon says, slow the train, buddy. We're going to put you out of business. It throws in 1,748 parts per million. But keep in mind, they're still both below the universal average of 1,897 parts per million. So neither one of them even got enough. And the Mobile One 
Calcium is known as a very good cleaner. Yes, a like a detergent for your oil helps keep that sludge and varnish from accumulating and it has very little. Magnesium. Mobile One tosses in 699 parts per million magnesium with Amazon Basics just doing 11. Now keep in mind the universal average for this is 88. So for whatever reason, Mobile One decided to bump it up on the magnesium to almost 700 parts per million. Uh, don't see that too often, but in this case we got it. Phosphorus, very common thing in motor oil, and here we have them at a virtual tie. We have Mobile One high mileage running at 708 parts per million of the uh, phosphorus with 702 parts per million in the Amazon Basics, and the universal average is 657 parts per million. So again, they're both above the universal average, but not by very much. Zinc. Zinc is another metal additive that a lot of manufacturers use, but keep in mind, they try to keep it down below 800 because it does tend to cause other issues with catalytic converters as they've decided. So uh, Mobile One has 749 parts per million of the zinc, whereas Amazon bumped it up just a bit to 782, and the universal average is 771. So uh, the Amazon definitely came in above the universal average average. Now there's absolutely no barium in either oil and the universal average stands up to that in no barium. Our CST viscosity at 100 degrees Celsius comes in for the Mobile One High Mind at 8.69 and the Amazon is 8.43. Not much separating those two and they're spot on in the middle as far as the CST viscosity, so no harm, no foul. Our flash point for the Mobile One High Mileage is 425 degrees and we have the Amazon coming in at a 430 30, and anything over 400 is considered a good number. There of course was no fuel or anything in there, there was no antifreeze or coolant inside the oils, there's no water found inside them which is good, and the insolubles were at zero which means we had good dispersion of all the additives. Now one thing we did have as far as a TBN, in my test I had Blackstone run a TBN, total base number, test and it came out for the Amazon at 6.1. Uh, that's pretty consist consistent with the PQIA testing but I did not find or did not test the Mobile One high mileage for TBN. So I went to the PQIA website and I found that they had done a test on the Mobile One high mileage and it came in at a 9.14 which is quite a bit higher which means it has a lot of active working ingredients in it and I uh, did not compare it you know apples to apples in this case I'm going by my test but just for clarity I did go get the PQIA uh, test that they did and added that 9.4 one four there to it for the TBN so that we had something to measure against. Uh, as far as the oils go, here's the thing. You got the mobile one and you got the uh, Amazon basics, you got the Syntec, you got all these oils that you're working with and from what I get out of it, the Amazon, the mobile ones, to me they're group two or three uh, mineral based oil process quoted as synthetic. Their additives are remarkably low compared to a lot of other oils out there. So my main gist on these oils is that the Amazon Basics is a 3,000 mile oil. I wouldn't go any more than that. 5,000 I think you're pushing it. Uh, especially under severe driving conditions. So uh, I will run it and I am running it in my Weiss Ford Edge which is a 2011 3.5 front wheel drive Ford Edge and uh, I'm going to run it just for 100 hours and then later on I will do the use sampling for this Amazon Basics so we can see what the TBN does. Does the TBN take a nosedive or does it stay serviceable after 100 hours? And for my wife and her driving, doesn't even reach the point where we would say uh, 3,000 miles. It's 100 hours of driving and I personally would not run it in my edge uh, and run it 10,000 miles or what I call 200 hour drive. Uh, just is not a long term oil. So folks, if you use the Amazon Basics, keep in mind frequency is your friend for this oil. 
This is Mac T Ford Edge, and I'm glad you're watching these videos. But remember to like and subscribe, and also go to Facebook, Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. Join the group there. Also have Mac T the Garage on Facebook, so join that. The website is www.mactgarage.com, and go there, and you'll find all your needs, information, everything on your Ford Edges for all generations. And then also the Band of One has played some great music for us, so listen to that as it's coming up. Ian Mercy Grill will have a couple one-liners for you. And remember, my fee at the floor today, and I'm having a great day. And I want you to have a great day, too. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Grill production.